our BFD directors, current matching supporters, and parents, welcome to this orientation meeting. I hope and trust that you're all well. Um, before we officially start, I would like to ask everyone to please open up their camera. As this is a very important meeting, so part of attendance is to show our face. So let's open our cameras so that we can uh, have a very good meeting. Okay, thank you. So thank you once again for connecting to this meeting, which I will be emceeing. Uh, this meeting is essentially meant for orientation regarding the plan to mobilize our second generation and Jacob children for this 2023 upcoming blessing. So you probably already have an idea regarding the scheduled education program and the matching system. So today, all the BFDs and matching supporters will receive clear direction on the respective roles and responsibilities during this mobilization time. And at the same time, for those who would like to become matching supporters, appropriate guidance and clarity will be given during this meeting. So before we start, I would like to share briefly the program for today. So first we will have greetings to Heavenly Parent and True Parents. And then we will have an opening prayer from the national leader of Cameroon, Reverend Cameron. I hope he is here with us. And then we will invite Reverend Begra for opening remarks. After that, we will receive a background and orientation of the three generation structure and the new developments in BFD. And from there, we will receive um, an introduction to the three generations education and matching program, followed by Q and A session. And then we'll also have um, guidance from uh, Mr. Kenta Kishi on how to become a matching supporter. So after that, we will have closing remarks from our regional vice president and then uh, closing prayer. And I will invite uh, any one of our BFD connected here. Okay, so without further ado, we will start by offering greetings to Heavenly Parent and True Parents. So I would like to ask the tech team to display our True Parents picture. Okay, thank you. So all together, let us give our love and respect to our heavenly parent and true parents with a half bow. Chanjin, Champumanimke, Kyombe, Haru. Thank you very much. Now I would like to ask Reverend Kamran to offer the opening prayer. I'm not sure if he's here, but in this case, then um, I'd like to ask uh, Reverend Eric Mutewa to offer the opening prayer. You can hear me? Yes. yes. Can you can. hear me? Yes, we can hear you very clearly. Okay. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let us pray. Our cosmic parent, parent of an end death, parent of an end death and mankind. Once more, we come together in order to put our heads together to find ways and means to make the blessing really a substantial event in our life. Our heavenly parent, we are so grateful 
that based on the victorious foundation of sacrifice by our true parents, today we can begin a new history in order to really start an ideal society based on ideal families. We know deep down our heart of a parent that we haven't done much. However, we want to really and father change our attitude and also try to redeem ourselves. Heavenly parent, we are so grateful for a true mother whom up to today, despite her age, she's still encouraging us. She's still really working hard in order to see the vision which heavenly parent couldn't and father see when he created this earth being realized now to take place. Heavenly parent, we pray and father that all the sharing can be inspired by you. And we like to put all those who are going to share to really that you may speak through them. And father, we pray that uh, we can be able to open our hearts so that uh, we can be able to apply and see the good result. Heavenly Parent, we are so grateful. We pray once more to bless all the event and Father lined up for this year as we are coming close and close to the summit as well in Nigeria and the great event and Father in May. Father, we pray that all the preparations toward all this event can be successful. Thank you very much. We pray for our leaders that let unity and harmony prevail and Father between leaders and members. Thank you very much. I would like to pray and uh, report all this in my own name. Eric Mtewa, blessing to family and the honor of Johnny Gook. Aju. Aju. Thank you so much, uh, Reverend Mutawa, for that beautiful prayer. So now at this moment, we are going to invite um, Reverend Begre, who will share with us the opening remarks. So please join me in welcoming uh, Reverend Begre. Ok. Bonsoir, très chère vice-présidente, euh, président régional, secrétaire général, euh, tous les, toutes les familles bénies centrales, tous les directeurs, les leaders nationaux et tous ceux qui sont conseillers en matching. Aujourd'hui est un moment important. Peut-être c'est vrai qu'on ne vous a pas vite informé, mais euh, nous sommes dans une période où nous sommes en train de courir. On n'a pas trop le temps de marcher. Donc, euh, faites un effort possible la cadence. Euh, Aujourd'hui, nous avons cette rencontre avec les matching supporters euh, pour une forme d'orientation. Comme vous le savez, les matching supporters sont là pour supporter, pour aider, pour soutenir les parents afin que les parents puissent matcher leurs enfants. Donc, euh, c'est pourquoi dans le processus de 40 jours de mobilisation par rapport aux enfants de seconde génération, il était indispensable, nécessaire que les matching supporters soient là. On ne peut pas faire aujourd'hui une activité qui concerne les secondes générations sur leur matching et leur bénédiction sans que les matching supporters ne disent un mot. C'est pourquoi ils sont là et c'est pourquoi vous êtes là. Donc, vous avez une tâche noble, une tâche importante une tâche qui permet réellement d'accomplir des actes qui sont posés pour l'éternité. Il n'y a rien de tel que quand vous voyez une seconde génération euh, dont vous avez pu aider à être matché, qui a commencé sa vie de famille, vous êtes plus qu'heureux. Et ça, c'est une bénédiction immense que le parent céleste 
ne peut que vous l'accorder. C'est pourquoi je voudrais vraiment féliciter tous ceux qui sont là et réellement de pouvoir joindre le programme et de faire en sorte que, voilà, à travers ce programme-là, il soit des matching supporters confirmés. Comme vous devez aussi le savoir, un matching supporter n'est pas établi pour l'éternité. C'est-à-dire, quand nous faisons des appels, nous faisons des formations, c'est pour un certain temps, un an très souvent. Et après l'année, nous relançons la formation pour reformer et pour que ceux qui veulent devenir des nouveaux matching supporters et ceux qui sont des anciens qui veulent continuer à faire ce travail noble puissent recevoir la formation et recevoir les certificats pour continuer dans la même tendance. En tout cas, je voudrais vraiment vous remercier d'être ici et nous voulons que, en fin de compte, chacun de nous, nous puissions nous donner la force, l'énergie, les encouragements pour que nous puissions continuer ce travail noble. Même si financièrement, vous ne recevez rien en tant que matching supporter, mais sachez que le ciel vous donne toute sa bénédiction. Merci beaucoup et que Dieu et les vrais parents vous bénissent. Merci. Thank you so much. Let us appreciate uh, the words of our regional VF. We'll be welcoming our regional vice president who will be sharing with us the background and giving orientation on the three generation structure and the new developments in BFD. So together, please join me in giving a big round of applause to welcome our regional vice president. Thank you, uh, Sumi, and uh, greetings to all of our uh, BFD directors. Greetings to our regional uh, BFD director, Reverend Burgre. Thank you for opening the floor and uh, to all of our um, blessed families, matching supporters, and those of you who are present to hopefully be matching supporters. Um, so I'm going to be sharing uh, in regards to, uh, more deeply in regards to the uh, program that we're working on, develop, that we're developing uh, to really support, especially the youth and uh, the second generation and Jacob children to really guide them in this time. Um, in some sense, this is a uh, content that I think those of you who've been uh, taking part in the orientation that we did on uh, Wednesday, um, you know, you will be hearing again. Uh, but the desire this time is to really uh, share with the matching supporters because uh, truly the role of matching supporters in regards to uh, matching the second generation is very important because you're needed to really guide and support the parents as well as be able to connect to uh, the children. So um, this time we want to, we're kind of really working on developing uh, a strong structure that can support and that can be um, effective uh, to really guide and bring the results that are needed. At the same time, I feel it is a need for us to understand uh, what it is also that matching supporters face in regards to um, their um, experience with uh, trying to match and, and guide uh, parents to match their children. Uh, so at the same time as we are maybe going to give orientation, I really hope also we can create a platform to also listen to certain challenges that are faced so that we can bring um, more result in regards to this area. So I'll be sharing quickly uh, about my uh, the background to the formation of this three generational um, structure. And uh, this will give us at least uh, some orientation about that aspect. Um, so basically this, uh, this uh, uh, program, which is called the three generational uh, education and matching program, is a program that was uh, formed after a discussion with the youth leaders when we were here in Zambia in, um, in uh, last year, late last year in November and uh, October, November. And uh, the desire really of this session that we had was to really discuss openly as 
uh, leaders or youth leaders as brothers and sisters about the challenges that we believe or are seen faced by our siblings or even faced by ourselves as not everyone was uh, also blessed in, in that room. So it's something that um, we were able to do and I feel it was very useful uh, to really try and capture the challenges that are faced among our youth. And from that, from that, um, sorry, from that uh, development, then uh, we, you know, came to recognize certain challenges and then also started uh, looking at how we can solve those challenges. So just to give you a background to that, so when, through this discussion, we really felt um, concern for our youth regarding the matching and blessing situation. And uh, some of the concerns that were relayed, relayed were, you know, the challenge of matching supporters and also BFD, uh, the education somehow not always being harmonized, not being, um, you know, some people saying one thing about a certain situation, some people saying another thing. So also this was uh, shared as well as uh, even in some cases feeling like they are not close to, you know, a lot of the youth are not close to BFD or are not understanding even the matching uh, supported role and things like that. So there were certain things that came up. This is obviously not uh, everywhere. I'm sure this is not everywhere but uh, there were certain realities of this in some nations. Uh, there was also um, the challenge that are faced in parents matching with the, the parents not really knowing how to engage and maybe challenged to find a match uh, with all the different processes. And there was also, you know, the reality of the training work matching, uh, you know, with, with, you know, understanding if, if that still exists and also, um, you know, sometimes realizing that that also uh, was challenging sometimes youth not taking responsibility like maybe saying yes but then you know not really taking responsibility and so in 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 some cases also parents and then of course you know we recognize the youth reality also or the youth limitation that uh, we have with many of our youth also not wanting uh, maybe perhaps to go to the blessing be either because they feel they need to finish study or uh, you know they're they're waiting for different uh, match it, like having too much external criteria for the matching. So education really was a big area of need or, or, as well as a sort of certain structure that could be, um, that they have, they could, ha they can be confident in something that was really emphasized. So with this kind of discussion, uh, you know, through, uh, you know, discussing and also sharing, uh, we came with up with this idea that really we should have the three generational leadership come together to find a solution. And this is where now the three generational family assisted matching uh, and uh, education program came to be. And it's the desire of this program is to really overcome the challenges of both matching systems and bring the support to parents and children during the matching process. It doesn't mean that the parents matching is not there. In fact, the parents matching should be reinforced through this process, uh, as well as it doesn't mean that uh, channel group matching isn't there. In some cases, uh, there's a desire for the leaders to match, which comes with the knowledge, with the situation perhaps that the, ch the child puts the leader in the parent position, uh, especially the leaders appointed by our true parents uh, Chani Wan and the regional president, they stand actually representing uh, true parents in the region. They're representing a parental position in the region. Uh, so this is still there, but the desire is really that we support parents to match their children. This is the desire of our, this is the true structure because we are all meant to be true parents. We're all meant to be uh, the ones, uh, you know, receiving the blessing and then being raising your, your children and not your children, but heavenly parents' children and then blessing them as in representing true parents. So this is something that uh, we need to keep uh, supporting to make sure uh, we can really realize our true parents ideally. So, but with the true parent, with the three generational um, structure, uh, this is uh, where we feel it's very important we come together and bring unity through this process. If we look at true parents word, it's very clear that this is the real structure to bring harmony. This is the real structure to also bring solutions to the family issues. Um, one, of, one of the words from True Mother's Anthology is in alignment with the principles through which God created, the family consists of three levels of upper, middle, and lower, the grandparents, parents, and children. All three levels are necessary to create harmony in the family. 
So with this, uh, you know, reinforcing again, how important the three generational structure is. Uh, this is a picture of uh, uh, 21 co-chair Reverend Kamara and uh, regional president Reverend Kandima and myself in Mozambique, just uh, a day before we all left to go back to our uh, nations. And uh, it was in this day that we met and we discussed this program. So that's why I wanted to show this picture to represent really our desire to work together. And uh, they were very uh, wanting to develop this. And this is where we started uh, discussing and been meeting regularly from then on until now and constantly. It's not something we're going to stop just because of, uh, you know, this moment. It's actually continuous. We need to work together, harmonize to really bring solutions to some of these challenges. So again, going on True Parents' word, True Parents' men True Mother mentions, only when all angles in the relationships within the family, from the east, west, south, north, upper, lower, left, right, front, and back, are, posi are positioned for joy and harmony, can you succeed in all the endeavors you pursue in the community? How can you expect to find joy and reasonable success in your work or at school if your family, which is the root and starting point of everything, is suffering from discord and conflict? So again, you know, we know this, I feel, if you're all here as matching supporters, I feel you recognize the value of uh, supporting the matching and the blessing on our children uh, of the youth. Of, and, um, you know, we know that just, you know, for pursuing success outside will never really bring that harmony, never really bring that victory. So it's how we can start to come together and solve our challenges as a family so we can really um, start to be in harmony. So the purpose of the program is uh, first and foremost to bring the matching and blessing matter as a concern for the whole family, three generations, and support network to be centered on the family structure, not just one department. Um, this again, to reinforce, it's not BFD, you know, when it comes to blessing, I think we, we put the, the focus on BFD or, you know, it's BFD's role. Of course, BFD has the role to, you know, to, to uh, create the system and the education and the structure, but truly the blessing and the matching and blessing is a family matter, which means everyone in the family is involved. So the structure of the family, even of leadership, needs to be there. Uh, so that's where we wanted to, the first and foremost purpose is to really bring that as a concern of the whole and a support network. Yeah, to support the family to realize this great goal and this great gift. Second, it's to provide support and guidance to parents regarding the matching of their children. Third, it's to bring all the potential candidates ready to receive the blessing to come together and receive the standard content of education and prepare internally and externally together. And fourth, it's to create the attraction to be part of this Cosmic Blessing 2023, marking our True Mother's 80th birthday and the entrance of the Chan Wan Gung. So, of course, this program coming now, you know, may seem a bit late, but uh, really the desire is, you know, we're doing everything even up to the last moment to really bring uh, victory to, uh, to, to, to our true parents, but also to, to really bring a, a great awareness of the real, um, the great uh, time that we're living in. And the fact that this blessing is going to be marking the entrance, uh, inauguration of the Chonronggun, you know, which is a really a very historic moment in the providence. But um, ideally, really, this is something that's not going to stop just for this blessing. It will be a, a constant program. In fact, we can improve it, obviously, uh, through our uh, starting and uh, truly create a, a great um, program that can be you know, quite sustainable to support our parents and support our youth to be very confident about receiving a match and uh, being blessed. <laughs> In terms of the executive committee, so we are formed on the regional level with Chani Wan co-chair, regional president and regional vice president. And uh, of course the reporting and ed communication, our secretary general is heavily involved with that communication, especially to our sub-regional level. And then uh, we've got uh, the blessed family mobilization, which we have formed on the, so on the, especially on the national level, what we're calling the National Blessing Committee. Again, emphasizing that it's not just BFD, but it's the unity of this three, uh, three le leaders that are needed to really bring, uh, as well as uh, other representatives in the leadership and also parental position, youth children position. Um, to come together to actually bring results. So we'll be sharing a little bit about their role, 
and uh, matching supporters and also BFD. Uh, we really feel like this is what we're doing right now, the orientation. You know, still BFD, as much as we're creating the structure for the three generations, BFD still stand in the subject position to really support and guide the coordination, the education, and really all the processes of the matching uh, and blessing because that your BFD stands in that position to give the guidance in terms of the rules and the different processes uh, that are that are needed in relation to the matching blessing. So this is why we also believe the BFD and matching supporter team also need to be very clear on their roles, their responsibilities, and really also how we can uh, you know also go through the same education to be guided through uh, the process of um, yeah of the of our roles. So this is uh, where Reverend Bergre is uh, as a BFD director is leading, obviously, and together with uh, Kenta, who is dealing with a lot of the administration to it, uh, because this time we really need to be more clear, even with our data, in regards to uh, matching supporters and uh, also the reports that they they give after meeting uh, people and and, and being uh, supporting people to re receive the blessing. Actually, matching supporters actually are very key to really understanding the, the situation of the uh, potential matches. Then uh, we have a project program and education structure, which actually uh, Jin Song and uh, also Kenta are working on the structure. Uh, but uh, the final decision about the program, I mean, and also the uh, content is by the executives, also after given uh, some input by the BFD director of Berkeley. Then we've got registration and documents, which we've got sociable working on, because again, this time we want to really improve our data in regards to this. And also promotion and communication, we've got Godson and Jintao, which are working on that. Hopefully we can get more promotional material to support. And then translation, interpretation and reporting, we've got Babasan and technical needs, we've got uh, Philip. So that's on the regional level. But now on the national level, this is where, where the real work begins, actually. On the regional level, what we're doing is really creating the structure and creating the support system. But uh, the national level for me is really where the action is and where things actually, uh, you know, you have direct contact with the people that need to receive this information and receive this content. So this is where the national level for me, the national level community is really the key for the success of this program. and so. Um, we recognize, you know, that, uh, you know, the, the the formation of this national level committee is in regards to the three generational structure. So in a way, the national leader standing in the central figure position as the spiritual advisor, um, and his role is truly to unite the team and offer Chong some kind of like the grandparent position. You know, of course, they, I'm not saying they're grandparents necessarily. Some of them, some of you are as national leaders, but not everyone, but meaning the structure of the grandparent, the advisor position, right? And then we've got BFD in the current, in the representing the parent position, which is uh, where you know the focus and roles are educators and a guidance, coordinating also the matching supporters. They should be the ones to receive, you know, the uh, guide the matching supporters. You know, give the assignment of who the matching supporters will be um, assigned to in terms of. Uh, giving guidance or, or, or supporting the match of, of those people, at the same time receiving reports of what's currently happening in regards to those individuals that the matching supporter is sub trying to support. Uh, and then, of course, you know, dealing with all the processes uh, that are necessary, such as the confession uh, sessions and things like that. So uh, that's BFT. And then also this time, and I mean, in even many times, we really need to include also the youth uh, as the kind of representing the children or the sibling position. In many cases, maybe we think the youth either, maybe they're not yet blessed, uh, maybe they don't fit in this role to be part of BFD supporting, uh, you know, the BFD department to match other people, but I mean, to, uh, you know, guide the process of matching. But I really feel we have to start bringing them in especially now with we have more young couples, we have to start uh, encouraging them to realize that their blessing is really also for them to encourage and support other siblings to realize the blessing. So this uh, aspect also is very key. Their role is to represent the sibling position, to assist, to mobilize fellow siblings. It also the youth education, you know, we can allow them to support and also giving youth education and guidance. And also we see the need of them to be involved to really support uh, the administration side of things, which we have to agree is something 
we need to improve in in our region so that we can have more clear data to support our um, strategies and also to support our reports uh, up to our true parents. So this is where uh, these three are so important. Um, so I feel, you know, with them, of course, standing a subject to the different uh, positions, I feel still in the committee, you can have others obviously supporting, you know, other elders who can stand as grandparent position to support other parental representatives and other youth representatives. Um, but the ideal is that really we have a representative of both, of each group, each uh, level in this committee, centering on the national leader to bring unity and awareness and the guidance, and then also BFD and YSD or youth couple to really work. It could be a YSD leader plus also youth couple, you know, if, the, if we want, or the YSD individual also leader could be already a couple, so that is also can help. But definitely the unity of these three are very important. And so where is matching supporters? Well, basically matching supporters are part of the BFD department, um, but it doesn't mean that they're only, you know, on the parental position. In fact, this time I really want to encourage our young couples to prepare themselves to be matching supporters. You know, young couples, especially those who've already got children and have started a family, you know, we are also in the position to learn more and support our younger siblings to receive the matching. So this is where I want to emphasize it doesn't just necessarily mean your parent uh, in the sense of you're older and you feel, no, everyone needs to, uh, rec you know, in criteria obviously is I feel the receiving the blessing and possibly also having a really started family is important but uh, we need to start encouraging more young people to also be matching supporters. Uh, again, to reinforce how important the three uh, working together is, True Mother Word he also mentions, normally three points are needed in order to create harmony. Two points would only constitute a line. You cannot discuss harmony based on just a straight line. Harmony can be created only when three or more points are connected together. So again, emphasizing the, the need for harmony through really working together, even as a trinity. And then just to finalize, just to reinforce again, the sub-regional di sub position. Sub-regional directors, are as, as a normal, they are in the position to supervise the sub-regions, the, sub the nations in the sub-region and guide and give uh, you know, communication to the nations and also up to headquarters. So they stand in the same position in this regards to the blessing committee and are here to really be the ones to supervise and also provide reports uh, to this committee and also up, and up to headquarters. We also feel this time, you know, maybe not all nations have a perfect structure in terms of the committee. We really feel at least if we can create two model nations in each sub-region, this would already be a key to making sure we can support that in the other nations as we progress. Also, we're going to assign the youth envoy on the regional level to come to support each sub-region director to realize what needs to be done. As this is a new program, we need to emphasize again and again what needs to be done um, to support the sub-region. And then lastly, to conclude, I want to share your mother's words. She mentions, ladies and gentlemen, the shortcut to fulfilling God's will lies in building harmony in the family. Children who grow up and are properly educated in a wholesome family will become the elite forces who can fulfill heaven's will. When three generations, the grandparents, parents, and children join in true love and harmonize into oneness, a garden of true harmony finally can be established in that family. So again, I really don't think I, you know, I feel we cannot stress this uh, anymore than really how important the unity of the three generations is. And True Parents has have given that structure in leadership to work and be able to realize also harmony through this process. And therefore for the blessing and the upcoming uh, matching and supporting our children, supporting our parents, we need to come together as family. Matching supporters, you play a very big role in that. And therefore this time we truly want to make sure we uh, support even our matching supporters to be able to um, effectively do what needs to be done. But as I shared, this is not something that only we, you know, can do, uh, you know, by only providing information. We do, we do also need to receive information from you, finding out what are the challenges that are faced in order for us to um, make sure we can support you more in, re in realizing and overcoming those challenges. 
Um, at the same time, uh, I wanted to also emphasize this time, as you can see, we've got our newly appointed youth uh, leaders who are part of the BFD department. And this is uh, our MC, uh, Sunmi Wantete, who is also together with her husband, Jin Song Wantete. And uh, they just after uh, basically beginning of uh, end of last year, we appointed them to be the young, uh, the youth blessing and young couples coordinators. And they're actually appointed as a couple. So I feel this is a good uh, example uh, to, they really are dedicated to this. I'm very impressed actually. And it, it really shows that uh, if we can have more of our young couples also seeing their need and even feeling responsible to support our other uh, siblings to realize the blessing, I think we will be able to go uh, even further than we have already. So they are here to represent that young couples, but also to encourage more. And we do want to create a committee of young couples who can then support you on the national level also to realizing um, what needs to be done. So uh, we're trying to develop more and more the BFD department uh, together with Reverend Burgray. Uh, this is something that uh, we know is actually the most important department because it's the from this department that everything else moves. If the blessing is not working, if the families are not working, nothing else will work. So truly the emphasis on the blessing department and support of blessed families is something I am very, despite many things happening, I really think this is something we need to keep pushing and realizing and bringing a great result. So again, thank you for listening. And uh, I hope through this uh, meeting, you'll be able to understand a bit more what we're trying to do with guiding and also supporting matching supporters and what is the role of matching supporters uh, in this moment? What do we want everyone to really understand and how we, the education structure that we're going to be putting in place also to support matching supporters and BFD directors in this time. So that's how I would like to end at this point. Thank you very much. And let's have a good session. Thank you. Thank you so much, our regional vice president. Thank you. I believe and trust that your presentation has been well received by everyone here. So again, to show our appreciation, let us give another round of applause to our regional vice president. Thank you. So now we will call Mr. Jin Song Wantete to the stage. He will give an introduction to this three generation education and matching program. And just to emphasize a little bit that this is very vital, very important for you to understand as you will have a role to play in this program. So please follow attentively and take down some notes. If you have questions, please note them down because after this session, we will have a question and answer session. So once again, let us give uh, the mic to Jin Song and let us welcome him with a round of applause. Um, thank you for the floor. Uh, warm greetings to our regional vice president to also our BFD director, Rambo, and all Chinese leaders, and also greetings to all matching supporters and uh, members who would like to take the responsibility and qualify themselves as matching supporters. So um, yeah, this is uh, the third time for me to share this presentation. Uh, it is a good thing because first of all, three is a provincial number, and uh, also because this program is of a major importance in our spiritual members, we are aware of the fact that our family parents and two parents um, are hopeful uh, that they are really, uh, truly hopeful that this program can give a uh, substantial result. And indeed, we are working for that. Um, so it is also normal for us to be repeating several times so that we can all be at the same page. And also, without forgetting that it is always a great pleasure for me to stand before you and to share. So now I'll be sharing my screen so we can uh, go to the program.
Okay, so I hope you can hear me. Apparently my voice is not very audible. Okay, fine. Hmm. So here is what to expect. Once again, I will go straight to the point and you should be able to read with me all together. So first of all, uh, the program name is uh, three generation family education and matching program. Yeah, and for the dates and periods, from January 22 to February 4, which is the period we are in, is the mobilization period and registration period. <laughs> Sorry. So also we hope that uh, all of us already started the mobilization and that things are going well. The first phase of the program will be the education period, which will go from February 5 to February 25. And then we'll have a matching period, which will go from February 26 to March 7. The second phase will be the communication and com commitment period, which will go from March 8 to March 28. And then the commitment ceremony at the regional level will be held on April 2nd, 2023. Yes, and finally, the third phase will be the period of preparation for the blessing and education of the couples from. April 3rd to April 23, and then followed by the blessing ceremony on May 7, 2023. Uh, sorry, 20, yes. So the venue will be online and on site, and the target are the parents and youth of blessing age, second generation, and Jacob has previously mentioned by our original vice president. Hmm. This is basically the program outline. We can also know that uh, what should be done during those periods, but anyway, I will go through some details in the next slides. The mobilization period will take 14 days from January 22 to February, 20, uh, February 4. And announcements of the program are done during that period and also forming the national uh, committees, uh, what we have already done, uh, I hope so. Also, uh, to give the general orientation as we are doing at the very moment. Also, uh, the promotion and the registration for the program are done in this specific period during those 14 days. The phase one, which is the education period, will take 21 days from February 5 to February 25. And the content will be the education for parents and youth and also devotion and guidance for BFTs, and we will have the matching supporters education. Um, yes. So the period of matching and devotion will be done in 10 days, and this from February 26 to March 7. And then the announcement of the matching will be done within those special 10 days in March 5. After that, yes, after that, we are entering the phase two. We will have a period of 21 days of communication of the potential match uh, with each other and as families and leaders and parents will offer junk song for the potential candidates. And this will be done from March 8 to March 28. And it's going to be followed by the commitment ceremony on April 2, April 2nd. And the last phase will take place in a period of 21 days too, from April 3rd to 23 of April. The couples will prepare for the blessing as they will be offering Jong Song, and they will also they will receive couple life education. And the cosmic blessing ceremony will be celebrated on uh, May 7, 2023. So next, the purpose of the mobilization period goes from January 22. Um, no, sorry, the mobilization period, what, which goes from uh, January 22 to February 24, the purpose will be to the announcement of the program through memos, videos, social media, media and uh, the one-on-one -on -one visitation that are already started. 
also forming a national level follower tool, as I already mentioned uh, previously, a national leader, BFD, YSD, and the, or the youth couple, and also the recruitment of the possible candidates and giving the general orientation of the, on the program by sub-region to the nation. <clears throat> and the target participants are everyone in age for the blessing, 17 plus for females, uh, 18 plus for males, and also the parents of the uh, uh, blessing age possible candidates. And the organization committee targets are the sub-regional directors, the national blessing committees, national leader, uh, BFD youth leader, and the uh, youth couples, and also uh, the matching supporters, those committed to assist the blessing candidates this period for the blessing. Phase one education. Yes, so the purpose of the, 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 the education period is to provide, to provide uh, education content necessary to prepare parents and candidates for the matching and blessing, to provide a unified education and guidance from leadership and matching supporters, to bring all the potential candidates ready to receive the blessing to come together and receive the standard content of education and prepare internally and externally together, to create an attraction to be part of this comic, uh, Cosmic Blessing 2023, marking our true mother's 80th birthday and the entrance of the Song One Gun. The targets are the parents and children of Blessing Age that are preparing already to prepare for or uh, to become Blessing candidates. Yes, so the purpose of the 10 day special matching. Uh, period is for the leadership representing the true parents, Chowe Wan Co Chair, original president, to assist and support the parents in matching their children uh, and support the children to receive the matching. The target are uh, the youth in age for, uh, for the blessing who are willing to get matched through this process of three generational assisted matching. And the timeline from uh, February 23 to 25 will be the given time for the candidates to decide and commit to join matching. And from uh, um, February 26 to 28, uh, it's also the time for leaders to offer Jong Song and to do the matching. And March 1st is the matching announcement for parents by leaders. From March 2nd to 4 will be the, demo, the devotion of parents and matching. And uh, the March 5 will be the matching announcement to the children by the parents. From March 5 to 7, it's going to be a three-day devotion and decision-making by the children, the candidates. And uh, March 8, the potential match uh, commits to enter in communication. So this is basically the, uh, the 10 days uh, special uh, uh, matching period. Now, here's the process of the matching period. Before the end, first, before the end of the 21 day period, the registered participants will have a choice to participate in a three generation matching process. Two, the Chairman Co Chair, regional president, and regional vice president will convene for three days devotion to make the matches of the registered candidates from 26 of February to 28. Three, March 1st, the proposed matches will be announced only to the parents for which they will have three days devotion to give accept or reject the proposal. Four, should the parents accept the proposed match of their children, they will proceed to announce the match to their children. Should the parents reject the proposal, they will have to return back to the leaders to explain why. And depending on the case, the leaders will provide another proposed match. Five, the 5th of March will be the announcement day of the suggested match to the children. Once the children receive the proposed match from their parents, they will have three days to give their acceptance or rejection of the match. If the children accept six, if the children accept, they will enter into a phase two communication and commitment with the proposed match for 21 days. 
If the children reject the proposed match, they will need to report back to their parents and parents can report back to the leaders and get to get guidance and possibly another match suggestion at the discretion of the leaders. Next, the phase two, the phase two, which is uh, the communication and commitment ceremony and uh, its purpose is for potential matches to communicate and uh, yes, uh, to communicate and to offer Jong songs together to make a commitment. Yeah, to provide uh, to provide guided support and education around the pre-matching stage for parents and leaders to offer Jong song for potential matches to commit for the blessing. And the target are uh, the youth who have passed phase one education and are willing to be part of the matching by the three generation structure. Yes, and uh, as I was sharing also during the, I mean, the, the, the previous slide, the program outline and timeline, a regional commitment ceremony will be organized and the purpose is to all the original, first of all, to all the original commitment ceremony for all match couples and to encourage and support all match couples and uh, support them as family. The target are all match couples preparing for the blessing, this coming, this coming 2023 cosmic blessing. And here's the last phase, uh, which is the blessing preparation and pre-couple life education. And the purpose is to prepare for the blessing internally and externally, uh, to guide and orient candidates for better preparation for the blessing. And couples and parents offer Jong Song for the blessing. And once again, the, the target are the match couples and blessed couples. Yeah, so, um, so for the cosmic, this upcoming cosmic blessing uh, ceremony on May, uh, May 7, 2023, the plan is to celebrate all together as a world region and also to encourage a gathering in Korea and uh, encourage a gathering in one equation per sub region uh, for those who cannot make it uh, to Korea. And the targets will be all match couples. So here is the summary timeline of the program. I'll be using my laser point. So I, as I was mentioning previously in the slides, the mobilization period will go from January 22 to February 4. That's where the program uh, uh, should be announced. And uh, as we already formed the national committees, giving the uh, general orientation and so on. And this uh, within the period of 14 days. And next from uh, February 5 to 25 will be the education phase. That's where the uh, parents will be educated, applicants also will be educated, and they will all be offering special notes. And this phase will be done within 21 days. And after which, um, from February 26 to March 7, those are the 10 days matching, uh, uh, the special 10 days matching and promotion. That's where the leaders and the parents will be offering uh, uh, Jong Song uh, for the candidates and uh, the announcement of the matching will be done within that period. And uh, of course, March 7 will be the, the matching announcement. Yes, and then from March 8 to March 28, Another 21 days uh, will be the phase two communication period. That's where the uh, potential match will enter in communication with each other and as families and leaders and parents in that period also will be offering John Song. Up to uh, April 2nd, that's the commitment ceremony. And uh, we have to also to note that this period going from February 5 to April 2nd is a practically a 50-day education 
and matching period, after which we start the phase three, the blessing education, the blessing preparation and education period, which will go from April 3, uh, April 3rd to April 23, 21 days. And uh, that's, all for that. that's the follow-up education and the blessing preparation, as I already said. And then we prepare ourselves for the cosmic blessing ceremony, March, uh, May 7th. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is practically uh, the end of this sharing. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the program, uh, we all need to be on the same page and work accordingly for this program to be a success. So thank you. This is the end of my presentation. I thank you very much for your patience and attention. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for your presentation. I'd like to ask everyone to give a round of applause. Once again, thank you. I hope and trust that this presentation was clear for everyone. But even though it was clear, I do expect some questions. That way, we are confident that this orientation has been understood by everyone. So now we leave the stage open to everyone. If there is anyone here with a question, this is the time to ask. Okay, so you can either raise your hand or even just open your mic and ask. If there is something you did not understand, please feel free to ask and receive clarity. I have a question. Where is the ceremony gonna be held in Africa? Okay. I'm not sure who asked the question and didn't see the face, but it's fine. Okay, so first of all, uh, the ceremony should be, will be held in Korea, and it's recommended for those who, are, who can make it, who are ready to go to Korea, uh, just to go there and to celebrate. And also for uh, a plan B, we were planning to have in each sub-region, a prepared location in each sub-region, one location, like one nation to represent the sub-region where the, the, uh, uh, say, the cosmic blessing will be celebrated. So this okay, is, uh, so what you're trying to say is that like for Southern, the Southern region in Africa, it will be held in like one country. Uh, sorry, come again. I didn't hear the question properly. Could you please repeat? She was saying, do you mean to say that um, in the Southern Africa region, for example, we will have to choose one country that will have to host the blessing. That was her question. Oh, I see. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's basically the answer, but I'm not sure. I don't think uh, the nation can, uh, I mean, the sub region will be choosing that nation. Probably it's going to be from the uh, regional office. But anyway, uh, further uh, details will be shared a bit later about this matter. But yes, that's the point. In a sub-region, one nation will be choose, chosen to celebrate. Okay, thank you very much for the question and the answer. So now I will give the mic to Reverend Alisto Mushaki. Please uh, okay, thank, thank, you so, thank you so much. I just wanted to ask um, about the the program, since we have a program starting on the on the fifth, uh, there was a program that was shared 
you know, a day by day, what is going to happen. So I really feel that uh, I think this program also is important. We can have it. I'm not sure if it has been shared already. Thank you. Okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, the program is going to be shared. Uh, yes, of course, you, you, you will be having it in order to for you to be, I uh, would say, to be more prepared and ready for the next check. So uh, this, the program is still being uh, finalized. So do not worry, you will be receiving it, all the leaders. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so next I will give the mic to Mrs. Jiwon Arkoi from Liberia. Please ask your question. Thank you very much. So our uh, vice president and all Chonyo Cook leaders and all family members gathered here. My question, I have two questions. The first one is concerning the, the hosting of the education session. Um, the presenter indicated that it would be done online and on site. Does this mean that we are required to gather all the participants in one location for them to part for them to attend the Zoom sessions, or they can attend individually if they are capable of doing so. The other question is for the for the education phase. Um, I saw in the status that after the education phase, the participants will reflect and decide if they want to go to the matching stage. So does this mean that some candidates who are already in the process, or those who are not ready to get matched this year can participate in the education stage because so far those who have registered are people who are ready to go this year so i want to get that clarity okay so um i will answer the first question and uh, for the second question uh, i will leave it to our regional vice president So yes, uh, for the, the program education, the participants should be gathered in one location, in, in one place to attend. This is what is uh, recommended as it's, it's going to be online, but uh, they have to be in one in one place, uh, whether it's the church or a center that national leader will be, of course, um, guiding, I believe. And then they will be following online from that place. So um, for the second question, uh, regional vice president, if, if you would like to take the floor. Okay, yes, uh, thank you, Eugene. So for the second question, um, the I, yes, the desire is that the phase one, the education phase, which is the first 21 days from the fifth, is open to everyone, even those that are not necessarily, uh, that may be already in a matching process, maybe through parents matching. Um, and also for those that may not be maybe thinking yet to go to the blessing this year. But the desire, hopefully, is also through the education. Maybe some people may change their minds, obviously, those that may are, that those that are not in the matching process. But we cannot obviously force that. But uh, the desire is everyone to be coming. And hopefully this will encourage them to be able to get ready for the blessing. So it's for everyone. But of course, those that will be entering the second phase are going to be those that are ready and willing to go through the matching this period and also um, go to the blessing this year. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I do not see any more hands. So I believe these are all the questions we had. Unless I am mistaken, maybe somebody still has. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, thank you once again to all our leaders, to the audience for your questions. So now we will be moving on with our program. And uh, if you you may have questions that come up later. Uh, please direct your questions to your BFD directors. So now as we are going into another super important guidance, 
on how to become a matching supporter. So once again, I ask for your attention as we welcome the IYSP Regional Secretary General, Mr. Kenta Kishi. So please, everyone, please join me in giving a warm round of applause to welcome Mr. Kenta. Sorry, Kent, I'm not sure if I, I'm the only one, but I can't hear. I can't hear. Sorry, sorry. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. All right. I'm sorry for that. Okay, once again, uh, good afternoon, uh, dear Dijon President, Vice President, and uh, BFD Directors, Matching Supporters. Um, yes, thank you very much for joining us and uh, having this session. Uh, this session is truly uh, important and a very exciting moment for me uh, to have this session with you. Uh, so the, today I will be displaying uh, how to uh, how to become the matching supporter. Uh, I think uh, some of you are already the matching supporters, but uh, um, uh, once again this time uh, we want to reappoint the matching supporters, and those who uh, can continue or uh, may continue, but also uh, those who newly wants to be the matching supporter and the support or the matching of the uh, single uh, sing single second generation uh, can also be the uh, new matching supporters. Um, so I will be explaining how to do that. But before that, uh, yeah, uh, the, our MC said the, uh, this session was very important. So I want to have a test on um, how much you understand uh, the contents. So let's let's go ahead. Uh, question number one: uh, Who are the target of this education program? Uh, number one: single or second gen. Number two, uh, single Jacob. Number three, single first gen. And the parent, BFD director, and the matching supporters. Uh, please select all, all the possible uh, answers. You can put on the chat uh, if you understand, if you know the answer. I will wait for 10 seconds. Oh, now no one is answering. I wonder who are the most courageous, brave. Wow, Myoga. Oh, one plus, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, five, six, and the six, second gen. Who else wants to answer? By the way, the answer is not only one. You should choose uh, several answers. BFT. Okay. Any, any other answer? Hey, 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 hey. I don't know how many people are listening. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. 666, matching supporters. That's, that's, that is you. Thank you. Okay, so the answer is one, two, four, five, six. The first answer was given by Myoga. Let's clap for her. Thank you very much. Wow, amazing. Just one time she understood uh, everything. Amazing. So the, uh, this time the uh, target is uh, single second gen, Jacob and parents, BFT uh, directors and matching supporters. Uh, we are having uh, different uh, education sessions. The question number two, uh, the leadership representing two parents, uh, something, 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 uh, to assist uh, and support in matching, uh, matching uh, their children and support the, uh, the children to receive the blessing. So, oh, yeah, who will be supporting uh, in matching the children and the support the children to receive the matching? Uh, number one, training on co-chair. Number two, uh, regional president. Number three, uh, regional vice president. Number four, BFD director. Number five, uh, sub-region director. Number six, parents. Okay, let's go for the answer. Okay. No one is answering. One, okay, thank you. One, two, three. Okay, who is? Okay, two people answered. And the two, Legion President, six, parents, one, two, three. Uh, uh, Chun Wong Coach, Legion President, Vice President, one, two, three, six, two. 
Uh, who else wants to answer? Okay, okay. Thank you very much, everyone, for your sincere attention. Now, uh, the true answer is not given. <laughs> we can give the proper answer. Five, six. Mm, okay. Who else wants to answer? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. This one is saying. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, six. Now, uh, the proper answer was given by Baba san. The answer was uh, Choi Mon Ko Chan, the region president, uh, will be uh, giving uh, giving the uh, support and matching the uh, children. And um, but uh, that, yeah, it's true uh, to support the children and the uh, matching. Uh, this is uh, yeah supported by everyone. Yeah, but uh, leadership representing two parents will be uh, Chun Wong Kocha and the region president. But let's, uh, let's all support uh, their uh, successful matching. So thank you very much, everyone, uh, for sincere attention. I don't know how many people are ready. Yeah, yeah, maybe many people are listening for this, uh, the explanation. The final question, uh, this is additional. Who are the most beautiful among them? True mother, uh, region vice president. Your wife or yourself? Okay, let's see the answer. Who can answer? Who are uh, the brave person? Oh, no one is answering. <laughs> one, 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 two, three, one. Wow. <laughs> Someone is raising hand. <laughs> wow, amazing, eh? Okay, I will keep it secret. Maybe you, you can find the answer by yourself. <laughs> all right thank you very much everyone uh, for your uh attention now uh i'm giving my presentation my presentation will be very short um yeah so the uh basically a uh, matching supporters role is uh uh actually uh there are a lot of things uh but uh at this uh, in this time uh what we need to do is very simple uh so we form the uh blessing committee in each nation uh, national uh, Center of National Leader, BFD Director, and YSD Director, and the youth couple, uh, they are forming the Blessing Committee. And uh, uh, now they are making the list of uh, potential Blessing uh, applicants uh, uh, who, can be uh, who can receive the Blessing. So now uh, we need to visit uh, one by one. Uh, so each one of them uh, needs to be checked uh, how is their situation, how is their motivation, if they have any issue or they are willing to go to the blessing. Uh, so uh, that's where we need uh, the matching supporter. Uh, so our matching supporter will talk with them, listen to them, and encourage them. Uh, so this will be the uh, role of a matching supporter. And then uh, after that, I report to the committee. Uh, so how, uh, this person, or oh, today I met with this person and he was positive and he is willing to go and that he has this kind of question. Uh, how can I ask, uh, how can I answer the question so you can report to the uh, blessing committee. Mm. Basically, uh, this repetition of uh, two, uh, number two and the number three, uh, you, uh, please visit uh, the uh, uh, blessing candidates and then also uh, report to the committee. Yeah, so uh, the role is very simple this time, uh, but uh, uh, truly this is very important. Uh, we need to, uh, it is uh, matching supporters who can really convey a heavenly parents' heart and heavenly parents' love and uh, uh, who can really proper uh, guide to the uh, blessing. Yeah, uh, so this is uh, uh, the role of uh, matching supporter. Um, so uh, yeah, this, yeah, previously the matching supporters are, uh, yeah, uh, mainly formed by like national leader, BFD directors, and uh, elder leaders. But also, uh, I think it's also good to have the elder plus younger uh, uh, matching supporters. Uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, uh, second generation wants to talk to the parents, and sometimes uh, they want to talk to the uh, the same age. Sometimes sister, sometimes brother. So I think it's good to have uh, various uh, matching supporters. And uh, this time, uh, we really want to encourage uh, to have uh, yeah, young uh, matching supporters. Um, so uh, if uh, your nation have uh, some uh, blessed, blessed couple or who are uh, willing to support uh, this matching supporter system, uh, please really invite, uh, invite them to become the matching supporters. Mm. Yeah, uh, now I can see uh, someone is smiling. Eyes and the 
yeah, mouse. I don't know if you can see this smile. Yeah, you, uh, through this uh, yeah, process, you can smile and you can make uh, the matching, uh, matching uh, candidates smiling. All right, so uh, let's register. Um, so uh, it's not, uh, yeah, there is no kind of uh, restriction. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, anyone can register uh, this uh, Google form. Uh, I will share this Google form on the chat. Uh, so this is, uh, I shared now on the Google, did I share? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Okay, uh, now I shared the uh, Google form on the uh, on the chat. Um, yeah, so please, uh, please go there and uh, register yourself if you want to be the matching supporter. And those who uh, register uh, uh, are invited to come to the uh, education session for the uh, matching supporter. And this will be every Tuesday uh, at 4 p.m. GMT. We will have uh, the sessions on uh, February 7th, February, uh, February 14th, and February 20, uh, 21st. Uh, uh, we have three sessions uh, for the uh, education for or the matching supporters uh, but bft directors are also invited uh, th uh, they uh, you also need to know uh, what the role of uh, matching supporters um so uh, bft directors and also uh, possible or uh, matching supporters uh, please join in this session uh by the way uh, even if you are already uh, the matching supporter uh, if you want to continue uh, please register uh, uh, uh to the uh, google google form and if you are the newly uh, newly matching supporter, uh, yeah, please register. Anyone uh, who wants to be the, uh, in the matching supporter, please register. And then uh, this session uh, will be basically we will give uh, give the lecture of uh, roles and responsibility of matching supporter, and the internal guidance and the communication uh, among the team, meaning uh, how uh, how to communicate with uh, yeah, the BFD directors and the. Uh, yeah, uh, blessing committees and also or preparation, uh, what kind of preparation we need to uh, do for the matching. Uh, yeah, so such kind of education will be given uh, before the matching day. Mm. Um, so uh, if you want to be the uh, matching supporter, this is the qualification to be the matching supporter. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, we, uh, we have the three sessions. Uh, so those who attended uh, three times uh, all the lectures, uh, can be certified as a uh, matching supporter. Uh, so uh, even if though uh, you are, are already matching supporter, if you uh, cannot attend uh, the mat uh, this education, uh, we will disqualify. Uh, I mean, uh, we will uh, yeah, change the uh, leadership of mat matching supporters because uh, the al always the uh, contents uh, is updating. So uh, we need to uh, uh, receive the latest information. So uh, even if you are the matching supporters, uh, in order to keep uh, uh, being matching supporter, please attend. And if you are uh, you want to be the matching supporter newly, uh, please uh, don't miss uh, any uh, lecture. And then uh, those who uh, attended three times will be uh, certified. And uh, uh, this uh, certificate will be valid for two years. Mm. And then uh, after that, we will also have the another uh, reappointment. Yeah, um, so uh, we really uh, expect uh, many people or to be the matching supporter. Uh, the BFD director should be one and national leader should be one, but the matching supporter uh, should be as many uh, as many people as possible. Uh, let's really form the committee and really uh, let's uh, form the spiritual foundation to support the uh, successful uh, matching. So this will be the end of my presentation. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our IYSP Regional Secretary General Kenta for your really fun and clear presentation. I believe everyone agrees that your way of presenting is really fun and also simple for everyone to understand. So once again, let us give a round of applause for the presentation. Thank you. Okay.
So, so now uh, we will, we're coming to the end of our orientation and we are going into the closing remarks. So once again, we are going to welcome back to the stage, our regional vice president for the closing remarks. Please let us welcome her with a round of applause. Is our regional vice president with us? Maybe we lost her. We have a connection issue. Yes, hello. I'm not sure if I, you can hear me. Yes. Uh, my okay, my internet is not we can good. Hear you now. Okay, all right. I hope it will last. If not, uh, Maybe Reverend Vergre, you might need to continue if I'm not able to complete. Um, but yes, thank you everyone for uh, joining this uh, program. I really feel like, uh, you know, as you can see, we didn't uh, present that much exactly in terms of the role and match of the matching supporter, but uh, the desire is really to capture, um, you know, everyone's attention in regards to this program and the desire for us also to be active uh, in create in really reviving also our system and structure so that it can really be able to support um, as much as possible. Uh, it doesn't mean that what has already been done is not working uh, completely. We know that a lot of effort has already been done on the field for our youth to already receive the blessing. And I think that is some success that we need to definitely learn from and keep improving. But definitely we recognize also there are challenges and we need to start uh, strengthening and opening up pathways to, to strengthen and make sure we can make a pipeline for everyone to feel the possibility and hope to receive the matching and blessing. So in the education session, as I said, it's not gonna just be one way in the sense that, you know, we're just giving you education. It's also gonna be a situation where we're doing case by case, like even panel discussion and panel Q and A to really make sure we're all as a region, as a family, knowing and understanding how to deal with certain issues and certain cases that we are all facing when we come to dealing and talking to uh, the youth on the ground. So um, I really believe this will be more uh, interactive and, and be able to help every single matching supporter to do their job and uh, support the, uh, the youth to receive the matching, support the parents to, you know, to guide the youth to bring the matching. So this is uh, what I hope and I believe we can do together. As I said, it's not just one way, but it's together. And uh, I'm, I'm grateful that everyone is here. And what I would like to encourage everyone, this link you know, that you're receiving to register yourself, I hope everyone here will register, but also pass it on to a young couple that you feel play, stands in a position to really support their younger siblings to receive the blessing. Let's really create that uh, harmony of the parent and child really working together because that's truly the only way I think we can really break through in regards to matching and supporting the youth and the siblings to receive the matching and blessing this period. So please share it to a couple, a young couple already blessed, uh, ideally a started family already and is in a potential possibility standing obviously in a good position, you know, following the traditions and the guidance to be able to uh, guide other second generation to also go through this process. Um, so that's what I would like to share. Thank you again. And uh, let us meet again on Tuesday and uh, be able to present more detail uh, to support you. Thank you. Thank you so much once again, our original vice president for your wonderful closing remarks. We are also grateful for your hearts and for your investment 
in bringing together our African families and really trying to find a solution for our young people to receive the blessing. So we are truly grateful to you, as well as all of our leaders and parents who also share the same heart. So let's give another round of applause for our regional vice president. Thank you. Yes, well, this is essentially the end of our orientation. And in order to close this uh, orientation, I would like to ask Mrs. Laura Lynn Iolangomo to please bless this meeting with the closing prayer. So Mrs. Lynn Iolangomo, uh, please. Uh, Hey, let's give a few seconds as she tries to open the mic. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good evening, everybody. Please join me in prayer, closing prayer. Our most precious, beloved heavenly parent, true parents of heaven, earth, and all humankind. We are deeply grateful for this precious time in our kingdom to come together, all different levels of our community in Shin Africa. We thank you so much for this short meeting to orientate everybody about how we have to move rather than do things blindly. We pray you can energize each one of us and want to live for the sake of each other because this is our future and how our kingdom will reflect in the future if we don't invest our hearts to really build up and really prepare our young people for this coming blessing we will regret in the future. We pray the spirit of our beloved true mother and true father can be with us throughout this process and this education process that is coming and that everybody can really pour out their heart and not for ourselves, but really that we can all be one, one huge family and everything in your heart is one and that we don't leave out anybody. There is total salvation for everybody in your heart. We thank you so much and we thank you for the presentations given and uh, by Jun's song and also Kenta. And we pray that all of us can pray for each other during this time that everything can really go well. Thank you so much, Heavenly Parent. We pray that you can be happy to see us together and sharing and planning things making strategies how we can be successful and that we can comfort through mother's heart who is really pouring out every day on the front line at that age and that her 80th birthday can be really joyful and that she can see hope for the future and if we don't give her that image her heart will be so sorrowful heavenly parent please forgive us we haven't done enough and we have to do much more. We thank you so much. I come before you on behalf of everybody to offer this closing prayer and that we can all go in peace and with love in our hearts for our true parents. I pray and report all this in my name, Laura Linio Langomo, Let's Central Family, Aju. Aju. Thank you so much to our dear mama for that beautiful and sincere prayer. So now uh, we are going to offer greeting bows to our heavenly parent and true parents. Okay, let's all offer a uh, half bow to our heavenly parent and true parents. Chunjin, Champumaninke, Kyombe, Paru, 
Let us give all the glory to our heavenly parent and true parents. Hey, thank you so much to all of our leaders, all of our parents, everyone who gathered here for this meeting. Uh, now we will take a family picture before we all go. Okay, so we're just gonna take one picture. Okay, we're gonna make the little hearts. So for those who still have their cameras closed, please uh, open your camera. Make the beautiful smile and the little hearts. And on the count of three, we're all going to say Saranida. Okay, the tech team, if you're ready. One, two, three. Saranida. Okay, keep the hearts and keep the smiles. Wow, thank you. Beautiful smile. Wow, beautiful. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. See you soon. See you on Tuesday. Thank you for your participation. Bye bye. Thank you, MC. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, you too, MC. Bye bye. 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 See you soon. Bye bye. See you, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 How are you? Bye. 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 Bye.